Gunning down civilians in Afghanistan was officially charged today with 17 counts of murder. Staff Sergeant Robert Bales also faces six charges of attempted murder and six charges of aggravated assault. And while that case has brought veterans issues to center stage, there is one place where veterans remarkably are absent. That's right, Congressman Paul Ryan's new budget. In the nearly 100-page document, the word veteran does not appear even once. But without saying that word or writing that word, this budget, if enacted, would cut $11 billion from veteran spending when compared to President Obama's budget. Someone who's taken this issue on is John Saltz, who is the chairman of VoteVets.org, and he joins us from St. Louis, Missouri. John, thank you so much for uh, being with us. I, oh, Karen, it's it's great it's great to see you behind the table. <laughs> thank you. Hey, so I thought <laughs> your, the piece that you wrote for Huffington Post was was really spot on in terms of looking at just some of the impact that these cuts would have on veterans that I think a lot of people don't realize. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, obviously, you mentioned the $11 billion. Uh, Republicans have had a long history, even under George Bush, as I talked about, where they underfunded the VA, and uh, the secretary of the VA had to crawl back to Congress and ask for an extra billion dollars. So uh, they've always had a long history. Uh, when we were trying to pass the GI Bill, six Republicans even voted against the new GI Bill, which everybody uses. I think specifically, though, with, uh, with veterans' issues, it cuts across the board. When you start attacking Social Security or right. Medicare, look, a lot of veterans are, are, are in rural communities. Uh, they can't use TRICARE primary. Primary. Um, so that's always a secondary uh, care for them after their VA. So a lot of them rely on Medicare as, their, as sort of a secondary form of insurance. So when you start slashing Medicare, you're hurting 100% disabled veterans. So veterans are, are middle class folks uh, from all over our country. Many come back to rural communities. Uh, they're not in Mitt Romney's tax bracket. They're in the tax bracket that actually pays more taxes uh, than he does. I mean, Mitt Romney's at 13%, and most members of our military are higher than that. So when, you, when you're cutting across the board, you're cutting veterans. Right, which is ironic because, you know, we're also hearing all of this highbrow rhetoric about, you know, defense spending and and not making those cuts, and yet this, we're short-sightedly kind of cutting our folks on the other end. So I want to play an idea out on you and get your re reaction. It seems to me that what we ought to be doing, in the same way that President Obama you know, said, all right, we've got to have the costs of war on budget, that we ought to include in those costs the human cost. So, uh, you know, the American Century Foundation, for example, estimates like a trillion dollars for the kinds of health care and medical services that our, our vets need. I, what do you think about having all of that so we have that full picture? You know, we just don't know what these wars cost. I think that's totally appropriate. It's like any other business in, a, in, in the world. You, you look at your projected costs and your, your you know, down the road income and, and revenue streams. And so what the Bush administration did was the, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, Iraq alone was $1 trillion, which is on a Chinese credit card. Of, and you look at our national debt now, $15 trillion, and that was $1 trillion. So right. when you then add up the veterans' benefits, I mean, we have 30, 40,000 wounded veterans in this war. Uh, you know, one out of every three soldiers that died in Vietnam are Marines. We only lost one out of eight. So we have a lot more people that are going to come back and fall into the Veterans Administration system. And, you know, that's not a socialist issue. That's We are a sole product of the federal government who was created by the federal government. And we just do not predict what our, our long-term costs are going to be in any right. capability. And so putting it all in the budget projected is, is a huge, huge benefit that would help veterans down the road. John Saltz, thank you so much for being with me and sharing your insights. Thank you. And we'll be right